Now of course when you load up a dedicated HDR video it usually plays pretty well but sometimes in real world situations where not everything is well optimized it doesn't really look that good and I don't see why HDR has been hyped up so much. You see dynamic range is simply the difference between the brightest and the darkest spot of a shot. The higher the dynamic range of a camera the more details you will see in different brightness levels. Well that is good dynamic range but an extended dynamic range or high dynamic range as we know it you get a lot more colors obviously a lot more details in the shadows and the highlights and the overall image usually looks pretty good. But here's the thing unless you're watching something that is specifically meant to be seen in HDR uh, things can break down pretty easily. You see these HDR videos actually have information in the video file itself that communicates with the display and tells it how to display that particular video. You may have noticed that when you open an HDR video the brightness of your display goes up automatically. That's because the video file is telling your display to behave that way. It actually changes your display's color temperature as well so it messes with your calibration that you previously had. I have noticed that when I enable and disable HDR momentarily my laptop's display just has the weirdest colors. Now that can be fixed with a proper driver and Nvidia is frankly not great at making good quality drivers for some reason. But still the biggest annoyance I noticed with HDR was when I was watching movies that had subtitles on them. I noticed that every time a subtitle would come up the HDR engine would crank up the brightness to make the shadows look even duller. That's because the subtitle text would be the brightest thing in that scene at that time. And whenever that happened I noticed a lot of artifacts and grain in that footage because it wasn't meant to be cranked up that much. Now of course that is also because of video streaming compression you know online videos are never really the same quality whenever you watch them. And HDR makes it a lot worse because you can see all of those details that are missing in the shadow area. Now again while HDR works it looks amazing but the point is it doesn't work reliably all the time from scene to scene for you know real world applications. So while it is still an amazing thing and I still have it enabled on my displays, I don't think it should be a deciding factor whenever you are buying a display. Whether it's a monitor or a TV, make sure that HDR is not one of your deciding factors. Like don't decide between two panels just because of their HDR capabilities. You really need to have the right video file to get the best experience with HDR. Shocking isn't it? Corporate advertisement lies to you. I mean I'm not saying HDR is pointless, it's definitely really beautiful but it's overhyped. What do you think? Do you use HDR displays? To me a clip with well balanced light and good exposure where I can see all the details correctly is just as eye pleasing as ultra HDR whatever. And HDR being on always keeps a warmer tone on the display like I've noticed the yellow levels on my screen go up a little bit. That's not exactly color accurate isn't it? It's okay if you're using it at night time when you usually have say eye protection mode enabled anyways but during daytime it kind of looks a little weird. And by the way you can't tune your displays when HDR is on like if you enable any of your display calibration assistants they'll say that they can't run when HDR is enabled because it literally changes your calibration settings from one scene to another. I mean there are dedicated HDR color accurate monitors that are phenomenal but HDR just being present as a feature on our consumer grade monitors isn't really tuned that well. And of course it depends a lot on the video clips as well that we saw. So there are a lot more variables to make HDR actually good. Anyways those were my thoughts. Let me know what you think of HDR tech on displays. You can leave your thoughts in the comments or you can hang out on discord. Link is in the description.